How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the Rally Miata. Uh, we're going to be making it a better winter beater. If you guys don't know, I bought something very special but kind of expensive. So in order to afford that thing, I decided I wasn't going to buy a new car for winter and instead I was going to daily the uh, Rally Miata. I mean, look at, is this not made for winter or what? Well, it isn't really because Kind of a race car. That's what we have to fix. Also, if you missed it, the Rally Miata is no longer green. And yet last video, we uh, peeled the plastic dip up, which is what that is. That used to be on that. The first thing we're doing in Operation Winter Beater is changing out the seats and the seat belts. Um, this thing obviously has some hardcore racing seats. They're just aluminum with some cloth on top. So I'll be honest, they're very uncomfortable for, you know, after more than like 20 minutes of driving. For short trips, they're great, but for any long trip, they're not very comfortable. And you know, harnesses are terrible for daily driving, so we're gonna get rid of it all. And we are gonna replace it with these spare RX-7 seats. These are out of my old FC RX-7. They're in really good condition. They're super comfy, they're pretty low. They've got nice side bolstering. They're, they're just really good seats. So we're gonna make some mounts that mount these seats and this car. I think while we're at it, we're also gonna go ahead and remove the roll bar in there. But when the new all drive slash four wheel drive setup is done, we're gonna have an exo cage, so we won't need a roll bar. And if I get rid of it now, then I've got a lot more room in the interior for daily driving. It's nice being able to put stuff in that rear hatch back there, uh, and you can't put stuff there when there's a roll bar there. Don't worry, this is all just temporary. Like I just said, we're gonna be you know doing a new setup come spring or something but for winter for daily driving i do want to make this thing a little bit more comfy i miss having a normal car i've got a you know race car blue miata and then i've got a race car lifted miata and a race car truck and a school bus i don't have any normal cars but before we get started i want to go ahead and say go follow me on instagram i'm so close to 50,000 sub uh, not subscribers but 50,000 followers 48,000. so go follow me on instagram i'm starting to post more there so yeah I'm going to harvest the stock seat rail from this stock Miata seat, which is obviously garbage. We'll use that and then we will weld some tabs onto the uh, bottom of that and then boom, we're all good. Sorry the uh, lighting's so terrible, this camera is not good with low light. For now, I'm gonna test the sliders and the seat in the car. It's tight and it could use some trimming, but damn, does that look cozy or what? It's never been this comfy in the Rally Miata ever. I suddenly just got excited to daily this thing. <laughs> oh, these seats, are, these seats are awesome. That clears really well. I'm not too high. It definitely wouldn't work with a helmet, but hell yeah, dude. Now, once I have like a normal seat belt, just click, I'm ready to drive. Looks like the main thing that is in the way is the hydro. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on removing that. Hydro is over there now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim this plastic. Ready to weld it in. 
I really dig the way the FC seats fit the Miata. Not only do they actually physically fit perfectly, but I think they look awesome. It's like a classic super 90s comfy seat. Gonna go ahead and pull them both out, start working on the second bracket and cut out the uh, roll bar. Here you can see where the roll bar was rubbing against the hard top and making a terrible creaking noise, which is another reason why I'm removing the hard top. It was rubbing on both sides and I am gonna be selling it of course. So if you want, or I keep saying hard top, this is a roll bar. If you want a roll bar, hit me up. So I got some metal. It is now time to make my own seat bracket, something that bolts to the four holes in the floor. And then I have to weld that to the seat like I did on this side. I have to go ahead and put two bends into this piece so it fits on the floor nice and flush. So the brackets are bolted in there very nicely. Now what I'm gonna do is build some bars that connect the two to make them a little bit stronger. The reason why I was welding like that, just doing like little tacks over and over again, was to try to keep the heat down. Cause obviously we're welding right next to foam and cloth, which is very flammable. And uh, welding is really hot. So I, I do the little weld and I spray it with some water to cool it down quickly. And uh, it actually turns out really good. These welds actually have better beads than <laughs> my normal welds. Now that the seat's welded to this, we're gonna weld this to the bracket inside the car. We got both the seats in. We got the hard top back on. We got a new center console in, which is just my stock center console from Molly. Next step is to put the stock seat belts in. Problem is that I didn't have any stock seat belts, but Posh's Miata 
had two stock seat belts, but they looked like crap. They were super worn. They were, you know, yeah, it, it, it wasn't good. I hit it with some paint and uh, here we are. It's a little crusty. Hopefully it lasts and doesn't just like chip off. I use this special vinyl fabric paint. The stock seat belts won't work until I get some seat belt receivers, which is the thing that the, the seat belt actually buckles into. So if any of you guys have some stock seat belt receivers for an early year Miata, 1990 to 1993, the type that bolts into the trans tunnel, let me know. I would like to buy them off of you so I can use them in the rally Miata and have my stock seat belts again. The reason why I had to get rid of the roll bar in order to run these is that the roll bar was right here and this is where the seat belt's supposed to go, so that's why. Boom. Click it or tick it. So the last thing we have for today is from WeatherTech. We got some universal WeatherTech floor maps that I'm going to put in the Miata just to make the floors a little bit better for one, off-roading and two, winter driving. I want something that I can remove and power wash. So a nice rubber floor mat would be perfect. No. This is it. You pretty much you fit it and then you can cut it to size. Let me show you all the stuff in action here. Boom, RX-7 seats. Boom, some nice WeatherTech floor mats, which are already dirty. No roll bar, so look at all that space. I will say the interior doesn't match as well anymore. The old seats that we had matched perfectly because they were aluminum with like a, a textured black uh, cloth on it. And these are like, well, these are supposed to be black, but they look blue in here, but they are black. They're, they're just, they look blue. So they definitely don't match, but they're so comfy. This steering wheel definitely has to go. I want to get a, um, I believe it was a Momo Prototipo or maybe it's a Prototipo. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a really cool uh, steering wheel with a aluminum center, which will match perfectly, obviously. I know a lot of you guys won't understand why I did this. Like, why would I make a car less cool by getting rid of the, you know, the roll bar, the steering, the seats, but I don't own a single comfortable car, guys. Having a nice comfortable car like this to drive in the winter is honestly just as exciting to me as it was to like supercharge this thing. It's just so comfy. It's so easy to drive now. I definitely sit a lot higher. I'm not used to driving this thing with comfy stuff, but it's awesome. Now I just got to go back to uh, the stock ECU and then we're going to be perfect. These seats are so perfect. They fit just perfectly. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this car also really needs a new exhaust because there's a really bad rattle in the, um, I think it's the resonator. I'm sure it was a cheap eBay exhaust and with the extra power from the supercharger, I think it kind of died. I don't really want to buy a new exhaust, but that rattling in the exhaust will make me go crazy. <laughs> it will drive me insane. Speaking of rattling, there's no more rattle from the, the hard top because there's no, uh, there's no rubbing now. Yet again, another luxury. It's funny that my, <laughs> my now 27 year old uh, Miata is my luxury car. You know how this car was broken at Tuner Revolution? Well, yeah, the charge light's no longer on, so I don't know what happened. We are planning on taking this thing off-roading this weekend. I wanna show you guys that it still has what it takes to off-road, even though it doesn't have a supercharger, it doesn't have all these cool interior bits. I'm not sure if you guys saw these in the background, but these are some wheels and tires my friend got for his dad's Ram. He's gonna be taking it off-roading this weekend with us. These things are utterly ridiculously huge. It's hilarious. And this is, this is going on a stock truck. Those wheels and tires compared to the wheels and tires on the Rally Miata make the Rally Miata look like a baby. And quite frankly, the Rally Miata is a baby in terms of tire size. 27 inch tires, that's like a normal tire on like an SUV. But on a Miata, it's a big off-road tire. So yeah, huge thanks to Mamba Wheels and Treadright Tires for uh, helping us out with that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, even though it was making the Rally Miata in some ways less cool. But like, look at those RX-7 seats. The RX-7 seats just look so good in here. If you guys are looking for a cheap seat upgrade for your Miata, I totally recommend uh, FC RX-7 seats. They fit perfectly, they've got some nice side bolstering, but they're really comfy. I'm pretty sure you could get like a nice FC leather seat for like, you know, 200 bucks for a pair. 
They're OEM seats, so they're not expensive. And if you know how to weld like me, then you can totally fabricate something up. Speaking of welding, I'm hopefully getting a new welder soon, hopefully getting into the TIG game, so I'm really excited about that. I will see you all this weekend when we go off-roading or in whatever other video comes up. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you do understand why I'm doing this all to the Rail Miata. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out and goodbye.